Hi, in this tutorial you will learn how to create a sphere with some pattern animations on it. All this inside of After Effects, so let's get started. So I am in After Effects and I have already created one composition and I am going to create one more. Let's call it pattern and width and height 1920 by 1080 just like this and over here I am going to create a solid. So let's just make it white like this and now I am going to create a line using the pen tool. So just draw a simple line something like this and you can change the stroke color to whatever you want and just add some stroke to it. So after that just go under the add and we are going to add the zigzag path. Make sure the fill is set to none and after that we are going to change the size. So just play around with it and you can change the number of segments so after that you can go to add and add a repeater under repeater change the copies to something like 11 and go to the transform repeater and over here we are going to change the position to 0 and then change the y position to something like 120 just like this after that you can select the shape layer and just move it to the top something like this so now i can go back to the composition one and over here we are going to create a solid just like this and just quickly drag the pattern on top of it and on this one we are going to search for an effect called cc sphere and just drag it on top of this pattern layer and it will give you a nice sphere so you can increase its radius something like this and now let's select the white solid and I'm going to add a gradient ramp and just change it to whatever colors you want to use. I'm going to use a radial lamp. So this is looking good. So over these, see under the CC sphere you can change the few options such as light, you can increase the intensity, you can also change the height of the light depending upon what you want to go for and under the shading you can play around with these different options to get different looks however you want to go for so once you're happy with that you can simply animate it by using the rotation properties so you can use it to rotate around anywhere you want just like this for this one we are going to use the Y rotation so just add a keyframe and at the end just change this to 1 so it will do a one complete resolution just like this and now in order to add the shadow you can simply select this layer then press ctrl d to duplicate it and make this layer 3d after that you can press r on the keyboard and you can just change the rotation so just change the rotation to something like this and you can move it down over here after that you can search for fill just drag on top of it and change its color to black and now search for Gaussian blur just apply on top of it and you can change the blur amount to quite high something like this and select the layer press T to lower down its opacity just like this and you can probably move the sphere something like this and you can also change the rotation so now you have this animation you can also add some other animations to it so let's just select both of them and i'm going to press p for position and on this one we are going to animate the position so just move it up and down just keep on doing it just like this and for this one we are going to animate the scale so as it moves up we are going to lower down its scale and when it comes back we are going to change it back to original so just copy and paste these keyframes and now you have this animation so you can probably select all the keyframes press f9 to easy ease them now you can quickly change the pattern to whatever you want and it will automatically update over here. So if I change the zigzag 
to smooth and if I go back here you can see that the changes have been applied in the same way you can add some text over here so I'm going to type the typography text quite a few times just like this and if you go back here you can see that we have the typography text now so in the same way you can add whatever text you want and it will automatically update here so in this way you can create a sphere animation with some pattern in it with that being said this is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one